Hello, today we're going to go through the process for reconciling a list of names with a controlled vocabulary using OpenRefine. This software is freely available and can be downloaded from the OpenRefine website. This demo will be done on version 3.5.2. What you see here can be replicated on most versions of OpenRefine. The first thing we're going to do is create a project. So, go to Create Project and choose a file. Create project, choose file. Uh, this will likely be an Excel spreadsheet. For the purposes of this workflow, it should have a column with a list of names. I have a demo file here with a list of nine names that I've already selected. Open refine demo. We're going to go to next and it's going to upload my spreadsheet. If this data looks right, list of names looks good. We're going to go over here and create project. So this brings my data into OpenRefine where I can begin to work on it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the name column with my list of names here and click on the drop down menu, edit column, add column based on this column. The default is to just replicate exactly the values you have in this column and the next column. But I'm going to label this one wiki data name because what I want to do is reconcile it with um, entities in Wikidata. So here we have our Wikidata name column. So the next thing I want to do is go to the, the drop down again and actually use the reconcile tool. So we're going to start reconciling. Here you can see the services you can reconcile with. Services are these various controlled vocabularies. Uh, the default is Wikidata, which is what I'm going to use here. But you can also add other vocabularies by adding a standard service down here. So we'll click on Wikidata, and then we're going to say we want to reconcile this list of humans um, with human entities. So we're going to start the reconciliation. Uh, depending on the length of your list, this can take anywhere from you know, three seconds like we just saw to um, 20, 30 minutes. It can take a really long time. Um, now that the names have been reconciled, you can hover over them and see that they're actually linked to the Wikidata entity themselves. This is a list of artists, so you could, just by hovering over it, you can see that these have matched with the people that we want except for Terry Adkins. There are multiple Terry Adkins. So we need to find the right one. Let's see about this Terry Adkins, the American visual artist. That's the one that we want. So we're going to click here and match this item to this in all identical cells. So now we have that name linked. And as you can see, all nine of our names are now linked. Um, once you have reconciled all the names, you can create URIs by doing the following. Go to the drop down, edit column, and we're going to do the same thing we did last time, add column based on this column. We're going to call it Wikidata URI, but instead of just copying the value, we're going to copy this string here which will, uh, you can't have um, curly quotes, so you need this, the straight brackets, um, which will, as you can see down here, add the base URI and then connect it to the entity number here so that we have the um, URIs in Wikidata created. And there you go. We can actually link out to each of these with a URI. You can also add any other fields from Wikidata by doing the following. Go to drop down, uh, edit column, and then we're going to add columns from reconciled values. So since these values have been reconciled, we're going to add columns based on this. And then we can search for any property in Wikidata and have a new column based on that property. 
Um, first one we're going to add is the ULAN ID, ULAN ID, union list of artist names. And here you go. We're going to click OK. And as you can see, we now have a list of um, ULAN IDs. Uh, note, not all of these have them. That's because their Wikidata page does not link to their ULAN ID. It doesn't necessarily mean that a ULAN ID doesn't exist. It just means that the Wikidata entity doesn't have a link to that ULAN ID. Um, you can do this for um, a number of other values as well that will be of interest to librarians. Um, you can do it to VF ID. Okay, here we have VF ID. And you can do it to um, our beloved Library of Congress authority ID. And again, voila. Um, to create URI, URIs for any of these IDs, you can use the um, URI string associated with that vocabulary plus value. So, for example, we'll do um, URIs for the ULON. So we will add a column based on this column. And then what we're going to do is we're going to input, we'll call this ULAN um, URI. So we're going to need to put this in quotes. Again, they need to be straight. Um, plus value, and you can see here we have this, which will then take us to the actual um, ULAN URI page, which is pretty incredible. You can do that for any of these as well. We'll quickly do it for VOF. Edit column, add column based on this column. We'll call this VOF URI. We're going to add the base of the URI here, quote, plus value, and there you go. This, you'll see, takes us to their VOF page. Amazing stuff. And finally, for the Library of Congress, same thing, we'll edit column, add column based on this column. We'll call this LC URI, and same principles at play here. We're going to put our URI base in quotes plus value, and now it takes us to the LC page. Amazing. Um, Remember, this reconciliation is just searching Wikidata for these related ideas. So if it doesn't return anything, you may want to reconcile the names from the vocabulary themselves. For instance, VIAF. So as we did here, by reconciling this to Wikidata, we're going to go to our original name column again, and we're going to edit column and we're going to add a column based on this column, and we're going to call it VOF name, just like we did for Wikidata. And we're going to just keep it as a value. Now we're going to do the same thing we did for the Wikidata, start reconciling, except we're going to choose VOF. We're going to want to look for person, because again, these are the names of people. So we're going to start reconciling. So quick, you can see this now takes us to all these VOF pages. Incredible. Here we have um, a discrepancy again. Who's Which one is the one that we want? Ah, here's the one, visual artist. OK, so we're going to select them. Same with Layla Ali. Where's the one? Ah, American Painter, that's who we want. So we're going to select her. Um, James Latimer Allen, American Photographer, yes. Um, so here we are with 
our n names reconciled to all the VOF records for each of these people. You'll note that this um, person does not have a VOF profile. Um, so it does not link out. This is a convenient way for you to know, all right, maybe the name authority for this person needs to uh, be created in something like um, the LC's name authority file so that it then appears on VOF and you'll be able to get a link here. You can do this for a number of vocabularies. Um, and there is this table that lists various services that are set up for reconciliation. Um, uh, reconciliation services with OpenRefine. So here you can see a big number of lists, which is super, super helpful. Um, as always, if you have any questions that weren't addressed here, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I will definitely try to answer any that I see as they come up. Please also don't forget, and this is absolutely critical, to hammer the like button and be sure to follow us for more riveting cataloging and metadata content. Thank you.